Hey, this is Marlo with Marlo Gets Fit coming to you from Grants Pass, Oregon on Wednesday. I just wanted to do a quick video. It's summer, the bugs are out, and I've come up with or I found this article that has a, a few ways to naturally get rid of them and also help with any bug bites that you might have. So I wanted to go over that. Plus, I wanted to talk a little bit more about our lifestyle reboot challenge, which starts tomorrow. So stick around. Uh, let me just get this shared really quick. And if you don't know who I am, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I work full time, and I have a home business, plus I'm on a get healthy journey. And I mostly do that with low carb, trying to get some exercise in and that sort of thing. Let me get this shared. I think I got the right one this time. To my news feed. Post. Yes, yay, got it. Um, let's see. So before I get started, I just wanted to give you a couple of updates. Um, awesome day um, just so busy it's so exciting breaking into a new country I have to talk about it again um, our business is just launching in India and so it's I've been talking to so many people so many um, people that are interested in uh, working from home making money from home and uh, making an extra income or even you know possibly a full-time income so it's just so exciting because they're so they're so energized and ready to you know do something new and so I've been talking to a ton of people and it's it's just very exciting and um, anyway so today I got something I got a new product I just wanted to share it and it's our shampoo and conditioner yay and I used it and you can see my hair feels so soft and clean and light it's not you know weighed down with like shampoo stuff so it feels really really good really like it I like it a lot and it smells fresh so I really like it thumbs up for this um, pretty excited and what's great is it's all natural um, no you know nasty chemicals and stuff like some of the shampoos that you find in the store uh, looking for an effective shampoo that leaves your hair shiny and residue residue free we created these botanically enhanced formula to do the job right with lemon peel extract and enhanced and already outstanding clean so I'm um, pretty excited I'm kind of gradually trying all the products out and, and seeing all the good stuff lots of good stuff there so anyway let's get started kind of uh, kind of off my keto normal topic but I thought I would talk about this because I've got bugs all over the place there's wasps there's ants I've been trying to get rid of the ants in the house and uh, all kinds of stuff so I thought um, found this article I thought I might share it might help you out especially if you are wanting to you know not use the nasty chemicals and stuff and you want to try some natural ways to get rid of the bugs so um, it says to ward off mosquitoes we have three W's that we do so to avoid becoming a mosquito snack this summer uh, consider these three W's and the first one is is white and that means wearing white because they're attracted to dark cl colors so it says these pests are highly visual and attract dark colors so wearing white beige or light pinks makes you much less of a target I didn't really realize that I thought you know they would just <laughs> see you and, and, and eat you but didn't realize that so it also the next W is weave so try to go for tighter fabrics like polyester because mosquitoes won't be able to penetrate it which might not be good when it's really really hot in the summer and especially in the summertime you're probably wearing like me a tank top because today is super hot like 97 or something today super sweaty um, super hot today and I don't think I'm gonna be wearing any kind of clothes that are gonna cover my skin to protect me from my mosquitoes so um, this one is interesting the third one is wind mosquitoes can't fly in even the slightest of wind so if you're having a barbecue or something outside consider putting up a box fan you can put a box fan up to create a breeze and they can't they can't fly there so that's an interesting idea so if you put some fans up and the fans are blowing in your eating area and stuff like that then you uh, you can't the mosquitoes can't fly there and get you while you're there so that's that's pretty cool so to deal with ants use pepper so this is interesting I didn't realize this but um, ants and pantry moths do not like pepper it it's uh, turned to black pepper which bugs naturally avoid due to its hot bite this is they put a whole um, whole or ground peppercorns into a pot potpourri bag and place them in your kitchen pantry um, she says it it this trick has worked for centuries 
They've used this for centuries. Crazy. Um, super spicy cayenne pepper also works, um, fries an even bigger punch, and the hot pepper flakes work especially well against giant, um, against ants, especially well against ants. Okay. So, ticks. Now, ticks, I absolutely hate ticks. Ticks are my scourge. Um, I used to live in uh, Arkansas when I was young, and oh my gosh, ticks everywhere. So, <laughs> Lyme disease, of course, is one of the fastest growing bacterial illnesses in the U.S., so uh, we want to try to avoid ticks if we can. It says, you can stay safe with a little vodka. Vodka. It says, you make, um, to make your tick repellent spray, just fill a two ounce spray bottle with 100 proof plain vodka, 12 drops of uh, geranium essential oil, and 12 drops of lemon eucalyptus essential oil. Mix it and spritz. The vodka boosts the bug repelling uh, compounds in the oils, maximizing their effectiveness. It says, um, it's my favorite spray because it smells wonderful and works great. I've never even heard of that before. Um, so it says, um, since healthy natural repellents evaporate over time, you need to repl uh, reapply it every 30 minutes. So focus, focus on spraying your pants, your from your hips to your ankles, to you know, because mostly when you're walking through the grasses and stuff, and that's where the tips, ticks come from. So I can, uh, that would be a great tip. And there's like a wasp circling my uh, my light. <laughs> great. Um, so anyway, and here's a couple of things you can do for naturally um, re uh, soothing bug bites. It says to relieve a bee sting. Uh, the key to soothing stings is to neutralize the um, acidic venom. So to do this, create a paste of equal parts baking soda and water. Leave it on the irritated area for about 30 minutes. The alkaline in the baking soda counteracts the acid in the venom. That's cool. So um, to soothe a hornet bite, soak a cotton ball in apple cider vinegar and place it on your skin. Keep it in place with a bandage for 30 minutes. The acid acidity in the vinegar nullifies the alkaline hornet sting. Um, and if you don't have apple cider vinegar, lemon juice also works. Um, cool down an ant attack. So just keep a bottle of aloe juice or gel in the fridge this summer. Um, placing chilled aloe on your skin eases the inflammation, um, the heat swelling caused by hot ailments like ant mosquito bites um, by delivering anesthesia-like coolness and relief. So. Those are the tips to get rid of the bugs and to soothe the bug bites. So hopefully that helped you out. Um, I just thought it was kind of fun because um, I've noticed lots of ants in the house. I'm noticing wasps around and uh, little hornets and all kinds of things. Uh, spiders. There's this stuff. Uh, flies. I'm working on the flies, getting rid of the flies. It's summertime, bug season. So I also wanted to talk about our lifestyle reboot challenge, which starts tomorrow. I'm pretty excited about it. We've got a lot of uh, people in there getting ready to um, reboot their lifestyle and improve their um, their life. You know, help you out. And what's really cool is we're going to have four key areas that we're going to work on. Um, right now, already there's already lots of great stuff in there. Um, recipes, ways to de-stress, you know, all these um, ways, you know, great meals to start with in the morning for having a great day, you know, this is all kinds of good stuff in there, exercise, but uh, week one is going to be stress management, week two is exercise, um, I think we're doing a plank challenge, oh man, those things are killer, um, and then week three is nutrition, and then week four is meditation and sleep. And what's really cool is they're going to have daily challenges, we're going to have uh, daily check-ins, weekly prizes, and everyone's in there, everyone's supporting each other, motivating each other, uh, giving each other, you know, kudos and all that kind of good stuff. So it's really a great environment, lots of great people, and, uh, and um, weekly prizes, like I said, and drawings, so that'll be pretty cool. So if you want information on getting in the group, it starts tomorrow, the challenge starts tomorrow, and uh, just send me a message or leave me a comment. I'd be happy to send you some information on how to get in there. It is a super secret beta group, and I think the next run around we're going to be charging for it. So, you know, send me a message and you can uh, see how to get in there. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. 
I definitely need to reboot my lifestyle, uh, you know, give it a, a, the next level up, I guess. I'm still working on it, so always, always up for a good challenge. So if you want information, just uh, shoot me a message or leave a comment and I will get you that. And otherwise, have a great rest of your day. It's Wednesday. I hope you participated in Wealth Wednesday. I forgot to mention that. Um, I did go and leave an extra large tip. I love doing that. It's so much fun. It, it just makes you feel good and happy and it makes the person that's receiving it feel good and happy and then they spread it and, you know, they it's like a ripple effect, you know, and it really helps your money mindset to realize that the more money you make, you know, money's not bad. It's not bad to have money. Money's not bad. You you could be a good person with money or a bad person with money. Either way, it just amplifies what you have, but it, it makes the more money you have, the more things you can do with it, the more people you can help. You know, you can give money to your favorite charity. So it gives you incentive and reason why you should, you know, work work hard and build build you know your finances up and stuff so that you're able to do the things that you want and help the people you want and raise money for those charities that are important to you so anyway I hope you participated um, if you didn't you can always do it tomorrow I kind of do it here and there off and on because it feels so good so have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on my next video